Hey everyone, welcome to the Top 10 list. Welcome to my Top 10 Worst Parody Movies. Yes, just like I said in my last video, I'm going to be cramming through this as fast as I can, because again, boiling hot, so hot. Uh, but yes, in my last video, I did my Top 10 Favorite Parody Movies. Now it's time for the stinkers, which there are a lot of, because apparently movies, they just don't know how to satire, sat, satirize movies properly now. Especially now, because almost these movies are all... 2000s, 2010s movies because they're just all fucking stupid. Yes, the 80s and 70s were really clever with its parody and its satire. Now we, we just suck and we just make fun of things that are popular and put pop culture references in because we think that's comedy. It's not. But anyways, this is my top 10 worst parody movies in my opinion and as a list for our top 10 list, you gotta have your dishonorable mentions. My dishonorable mentions are Epic Movie, not another, not another, not another teen movie. <laughs> Spy Hard, Matra, and the Starving Games. All shit films. Just give it the top ten list. But my my top ten is my number ten. My number ten is the disaster movie. The disaster movie. This movie is supposedly supposed to make fun of disaster movies because it's called disaster movie. But it doesn't really make fun of a lot of disaster movies. Actually, it could have made fun of like the Independence Day or um, I don't know. Titanic? I don't know, something, but this movie makes fun of just everything that's popular, just like every parody movie. Makes fun of, like, Hancock, Iron Man, Sex in the City, The Incredible Hulk, Juno. Why? I don't know. Is it funny? No. Number nine is Date Movie. At least Date Movie picked a cohesive thing it's trying to make fun of that's rom-coms. It's dumb, and even less funny than Disaster Movie, but where was I going with this? I don't know. This movie's just terrible. It has Allison Hannigan, who is a hit and miss with me. I love her in TV shows. Like, I love her in Buffy and How I Met Mother and stuff, but when she does movies, she's just irritating and it's not funny, and this movie's a great example of how unfunny she is in film, and this movie's just stupid, so yeah. Coming in number eight is Airplane 2. Like, how could, how could they just, wow, like, Airplane was just so clever and so funny. How could they blow it so hard with a sequel? They managed to do it, and it sucked. Point number seven is Dance Flick. Dance Flick is, makes fun of music movies, dance movies, but also things that have nothing to do with dance movies because it's popular. They mostly might make fun of, like, Save the Last Dance and everything, and it is so bad and so cringy and awkward that it's almost embarrassing to watch and yeah it's bad. Coming to number six is Vampire Suck. Vampire Suck. Well you know what else sucks? This movie. This movie is, is making fun of the Twilight movies and I love that this is so easy to do is to make fun of Twilight. You know how easy that is? And this movie failed to do that. This movie end up being worse than every Twilight movie. That's how bad and ridiculous this movie is. It had one job to do, and it's the easiest job, make fun of Twilight, and it couldn't do that. Like, how dumb are you? <laughs> Coming in number five is Scary Movie 5. Scary Movie 5, I'm not a big uh, scary movie fan. I don't hate any of them. The first one is actually legit funny. Second and third one, not so much. The fourth one, really not so much, but I never hated them. Scary Movie 5 I hated, though. It, I hated its jokes. The opening joke with Charlie Sheen and Lindsay Lohan, not funny. Its references and it, its slapstick, more like slap shit. It was just garbage and unwatchable and one of the worst ever. And one of the worst movies ever. It's, it's bad. Coming to number four is Dracula Dead and Loving It. This is another one that's painful to watch because I love Mel Brooks, whether it's like 12 Chairs, Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, Robin Hood in Tights. I love his work. And when he does a movie, especially satire, he's great at satire, especially when he screws his satire up this bad, it's just sad. It's sad to watch one of your comedic idols just fail horribly. And this guy, Leslie Nielsen, he couldn't make it work. It's just garbage. Coming to number three is Fifty Shades of Black. I reviewed this movie, so we need to talk about it. It's got Marlon Wayans. This guy sucks ass at making horror films. He can't write them. He can't act in them. He's just not a funny guy. And this movie is supposed to make fun of Fifty Shades of Grey. Again, an easy subject to make fun of, but they end up being even worse than the subject that they're making fun of. Just stupid. Code number two is Meet the Spartans. This movie was a painful experience. I remember seeing this movie. I did a double feature. I saw Rambo, the the, the 2008 version or something. 
it was okay, but then I saw this movie after, and I'm like, oh my god, this movie was bad. Like, this movie, like, again, just like Disaster Movie, it doesn't, it doesn't have a cohesive story of what it's making fun of, etc. It, it makes fun of everything. TV shows, political figures, YouTube sensations, it just, it's so all over the place. It makes fun of, like, Deal or No Deal, The Apprentice, a YouTube video that's, like, 50 years, that's, like, 10 years old. It makes fun of mostly 300, Stomp the Yard, You Got Served, it just, it, it's so all over the place and so unfunny and stupid that it's just an embarrassment of comedy. And my number one least favorite, or what I think the worst parody movie of all time is, is Food Fight. Food Fight, one of the worst anime films I've ever sat through, and it's satirizing food in grocery stores. It's trying to do what Roger Rabbit did, but with food products. That's not a good idea. The budget for this movie looked like it had a budget of $50. It is so repulsive and ugly, and the fact that they got like Charlie Sheen, Hilary Duff, and Christopher Lloyd to be in this movie is absolutely absurd and just weird. I don't know what they did. What they blackmailed these people to do to be in this movie. Just, I don't know what they did, but I kind of want to know what they did. But still, uh, this movie's bad. It's ugly. It's stupid. It's not funny. One of the worst things I've ever watched. Probably one of the worst anime films. It's right there with Moji Movie, Northern North. It's crap. So yeah, that was my top 10 worst parody movies. Yes, sorry again, I had to power through those, but again, I'm dying here. But anyways, in the comment section below, please tell me, did you read the top 10 list? If not, give me guys top 10 least favorite parody movies in your guys' opinion. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, enjoy the duck side.